But no, nah, I've never seen that brand before. You haven't seen it? No. Nah. Yeah, they, they work really good. Very easy. You just throw it. They already come with the lead head. Uh huh. So just throw it and then just jig it around. And it doesn't need a bigger split to make more motion in the water, no? Um, no, the tail end of it, because no, it does. It has I, a, good, a good motion. Because I've seen how small the split is. Yeah. Normally you want a bigger paddle tail on the. Well, like I say, you guys fish different over here, so it's it's a learning experience for me. Yeah. Because I have something similar to that, but it's got a paddle tail on the end. Yeah. So it, as you. Yeah, it moves. Yeah, either when you reel it or pop it or off the bottom, it yeah. flutters it in it the water. More, it gives it more. Mo look. Yeah, yeah, motion to where it attracts the game fish to go after it that that's like bait moving yeah this one you just like flimps around and then it's already like the way it's made uh-huh it's already made so it could well i'll sure try it out yeah i'll put i'll post it on my video oh cool i got i got a little youtube channel drift fishing the lower laguna madre oh, I, it up. and i fished the uh, grass flats out there and i'll try i'll try this out man you hook me up yeah I do, i'll try yeah. it out out there and see if it works you try um one ounce or how, how uh, we use one eighth because oh, uh, one because one ounce is kind of big, man. Yeah, it's big. Eighth, three eighths. Probably um, from yeah. up on top of the pier. Well, I, I I fish the grass flats is what I do. Yeah, yeah, one ounce is way too heavy. Because you you guys are in deeper water, you want it to sink faster. Here. Yeah, here. The, the water I usually fish in is fourteen inches to two feet deep of water. It's real shallow. But but if you don't have it, just let, let me see the brand, and then I can always look it up online, and I'll yeah, I usually have some, and I'll buy one and try it. I just never heard of it. Yeah, it's of that type of jig. I have um oh fuck yeah, I had some things that you get fifteen percent off because I work with them. Yeah. But it's on this one. Okay. Oh, I bent a little bit. So the orange one, cool. Yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of colors. Yeah, I've never seen this. Yeah, these are, um, you can have those, just that the color, those are old. That's all right. But, no work. Hook up baits. Premium handcrafted baits. Oh, the manufactured right here in San Diego, California. Okay. Yeah. Orange gold. Well, I'll try them out. Yeah, help them with the color. Yeah, and, it, and they all have garlic scent on them? Yeah, all of them? they'll come with it. You can order it online without scent. Yeah. Well, I know scent's the big thing nowadays that people... Yeah, I like it with scent. But there's some lakes that you can't use scent. Oh, really? Like tournaments and all that. Oh. So oh. they got, we got that option. You want to try the one ounce though? Yeah, it's too big for too me. Big. Yeah, I, um, I, I mean, I don't want to take all your stuff from you, man. No, you can have this one. That's what I have them for, so I can give it, give them away. I mean, I guess, I guess I can try it in the surf. Somewhere out there on the beach. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I have a one stick. ounce. That's that's heavy, man. Yeah, that's heavy, but <laughs> it's easy. You just tie it on and boom. Okay, well, launch it. I guess, be, you know, bigger soft plastic, bigger fish. <laughs> yeah, the bigger the bait, bigger the fish. They give me um, sometimes so I can use them or hook people up. I have a 15% off thing. Oh, I left it. But they got a website, right? I thought I saw it on the back. No? Yeah, they have a website. Yeah, it's right there. There it is. Okay. A little ring cold. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, so what else you guys catch out here, man? Um, Corvina. Yeah, okay, that's with the B, right? Because I, I was getting even mixed with, with the V with there's Corvina. Both, both of them. There's the one with the B and the B. The one with the B is the vampire one. Okay. With the two, um... I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know, man. It's oh, yeah, new for me. That's what I'm, well, I'm telling you. I don't, I've never fished out here. Dude, they have, like, two, um, <laughs> like, vampires. But it's good eating, though, right? Oh, yeah, those, that's, like, the best one. That one and the halibut is the best one. I have a... I post them on my... Instagram account. Oh, okay, I need to get one. I don't have one. Yeah, like, this is like a fat one that you can get from here. Oh wow. Um, yeah. they only get like the biggest ones only like twenty two or twenty three. Let me see your account there. Okay. Yeah. So twenty two, twenty three. There's a certain size on them or what? Um, that's like the biggest one, twenty three. They don't get like too big. This is where I got the halibut right here on that. Wow, that's beautiful there. Yeah, it was just right here. Wow. 
and you see the corvina this one so yeah. that's the one with the v yeah you see the veins like the two yeah that's yeah. the one with the v that's kind of like a trout top water almost. fish yeah yeah kinda like a trout top water close to it yeah i got it with the jerk bait and then there's this the sand bass the sand bass get pretty big this yeah one on I, i've, ne I've never seen one of those okay this one was big it's on the other pier and the scoping the poison in this one well, that one? well i hear they're good to eat you just gotta know how to cut the poison thing right off, uh, off yeah. of it and um yeah i got the other half of it over ah. here too well be fine the other corvina i got that one right here as, as well you gotta wait till it's on um, summer for those though, when you get the water's hotter so where do they go when it's cooler? Uh, where do they go? They, they, they migrate, migrate yeah, I guess? Yeah, they go back south where it's hotter. What, Mexico or what? Yeah, they come from Mexico. They got Sh the shark. Mark? Yeah, a little smooth hound. Oh. It's a good fight on these rods. And then this is like that hookup bait. Like drag bait. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, my, my game is I chase reds in the flat. I'm a redfish guy. Oh, sick. I've seen him. I have a buddy that moved from here to Texas. Yeah. He, he, he gets those on the kayak. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people down there kayaking fishing yeah. too, out there in the flats. Back in the little guts and little estuaries and stuff, you know? Yeah, well, it'd be cool to try sometimes. So, but yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. But, um, so spotted bay bass, okay. Yeah, spotted bay bass, or uh, they're sand bass, calico bass. And are those like the corabinas where they has to be warmer water, or you can catch them all year here? You can get them all year here. Yeah, it's just a corabina that, that it comes around when the water gets warm. Hey, so you guys don't catch any, like, any, any uh, snapper around here, or any uh, grouper or anything like that? No, not from here, not from the bay. I think you can get them if you go a little bit out. Certain, certain groupers. Because like, like down there in the channels and around where the the shrimp boats and the fishing boats are, yeah. down there in Brownsville, you, you catch all that right there in the channel because the channel is so deep. Oh yeah, it's not. They're they're all they're they're wherever they park them. They're all under the dock. Snook like snook. You don't have snook over here, no, do you? No, no. But you catch you know lane snapper. Uh, mangrove snapper. The one that's offshore is, of course, the red snapper. That's the one you got to go offshore for. But all the other snappers, you usually catch them around structure. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know? Right here, people get yellowtail. Like, they go a little bit in on the boats. Uh huh. They get the yellowtail. Cool. Bluefin, they get mahi. But it's just like boats. I, I stay right here on shore. Oh. Yeah. Right now, it's lobster season. Well, that's what I was told because I was, I've, I've hit all the, I've been hitting the piers from Santa Monica on down, and um, that's what they're out there doing. I, I've seen them catching them with fishing poles. I've never seen anybody catch a lobster with a fishing pole, but at that Santa Monica pier, they got one with the. Fishing yeah, he was catching them with fishing with the hooks. I, I guess however you put the bait on there, it hooked it on there when oh, they yeah. tried to grab it, and he just reeled it right up in. With like a treble hook. I'm assuming I, I yeah, you know. Yeah, I've that before. Yeah, they put like a live bait. And. The, um, but they catch a lot of stingrays. They're not really catching much. All they say is crab, lobster, stingray, and uh, and a few and a few every now and then a few uh, mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Yeah, there's mackerel here too, and then stingrays. It just depends where you're throwing. Yeah. But you guys don't really have like a, like a public, well, a commercial public fishing pier where you go and pay to fish off it, and then they they, they set you up. You don't have anything like that around here, right? Uh, it's just it's just open to the public wherever the piers are. Yeah. And you take. Yeah, it's just open to the public. Yeah, because like like where do you go get all the live bait? Who sells live bait around here? Where do you get that at? There's I, um, right here in the harbor. There's like certain spots where you can get it. There's actual bait stands that's what i'm asking yeah there's tackle shops around here that have them too because okay. they're close like to the water so they'll have a um, bait interesting because that's that's something i hadn't seen yeah or if you were like to rent a boat out here these guys have them 
I've seen him at the Tiger Shop so before. Uh huh. I'm trying to um, look for lures and ask, uh, run into live bait. We're on the docks. Yeah. There's like live bait around here somewhere. I'm Bait tanks. There's a bait tank for the boats. Is there? Yeah, so when the boats come out to um, offshore, there's, they go and they load up on bait. Then they just sell it to the public? Yeah. Well, or they, whatever they don't use. Uh, yeah, I think it comes with uh, with your ticket with, from the boat. Oh, okay. So when you pay to go out offshore yeah. fishing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they rig it up for you. Yeah, that's how it is down there too. They, they, they rig everything for you. They got the poles. Yeah. You just pay, you take just the ride out, and then they take the fish off, all that stuff for you. Yeah. yeah. I think you, you could they even fillet it if you pay or something. Yeah, if you pay extra, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do they do the same process down there from where I'm from. Oh yeah, cool. They do it right here too. They come right here, they sell like after they get the fish, then they do like a little fish market. Uh-huh. I forgot what day it is, but all across, along the pier they have fresh fish. Cool. Yeah. I just come for a bass. And do you, do you pick, do you like come at high tide, low tide, changing of the tide? When do you? I just come whenever. Just come? Oh, yeah, okay. I just come whenever. I notice it gets better at nighttime though. Does it? Yeah, like I think it's because of boat traffic. You see like there's boats driving around. Is it or is it, or is it because the tide's rising? And that's why they're coming in. Maybe. What they're the rising. Because when the tide's coming in, they'll be coming in. You know what I mean? When yeah. it's rising. Yeah, that matters too, but it changes like one week. It'll be high, the other week it'll be low at the same time, like it's weird. Yeah, because I just got a question, like on these docks, I see they're floating docks. How high do they normally rise there? All of them are floating docks there. Yeah, they have to rise at least. They have like a little... Do they ever get to that number? You see the number on the pillar? Does, it, does the tide ever get that high here? Uh, that the dock rises that high? Which is like almost three feet or no? Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to yeah, understand yeah. how much the tide changes here. Yeah, it could, it could come up that high. I've seen it up to like here at least. The water? The yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I'd be like on a super moon. Okay. Yeah, there's some there's a tide they call it king tide. Yeah, yeah. Well a super moon, yeah, when it's close. Rises high. That's when I, there's a lot of sand bass. Uh, weather's been weird lately though. You know, because like um down there, the fishing piers that we have down there in South Texas, yeah. they have lights that shine into the water. Oh, yeah, the fish hang out right there. Yeah, yeah but yeah. here they don't have that on any of the piers. Here, the lights are on the on the pier, yeah. shining down on the pier, not into the water. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know if that's a different regulation in California that you can't use light to attract bait fish. That the bait fish attract the fish, that, you know, the game fish that you want to catch. I don't know if you guys have a law out here like that, and that's why you don't see, because I haven't seen any lights anywhere on the piers that shine in the water, that spotlight the water to attract the bait fish here. Yeah, I've seen people have their own lights. They carry their own lights. Yeah. But as far as the piers, they only have like little lights. Yeah, like well, yeah, but they're, yeah, but they're more just for right around there, not right really, there, not yeah. attracting the bait. That's what but, I was noticing. But yeah, those, the Corvina, they like the light. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like certain spots where the light will hit. Yeah. And all the corvina will be jumping all around. It. It's good in there too, cause I guess the pier. Yeah. But up underneath. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's open over there, isn't it? Yeah, it's open, but they'll come and close it. They will. Yeah. A certain time, like around seven. So I'm looking at like all these guys here are crabbers. That's what all those are, crab yeah, traps. Yeah. Those are. Um, yeah. The, are lobsters? What are those? Lobster traps either, or crab either traps? One, either one. Because there's even a boat that has urchins. Sea urchins. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of things right there. I don't know what those are for. But yeah, right now it's lobster season. I have a buddy that went out today. Uh huh. On a kayak. I've gone one on, on a fishing pole. Uh huh. Like once. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Did you bring any gear? No, I flew out. Uh, hey, well, what about licenses? How did you gotta have a license? 
Yeah, you need a license for um, shore. For sure, but if you're on a pier, you don't, right? Uh, not on a public pier. That's weird, man. But okay. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> or I think on a, even on a, like on a boat or a skiff. You, you need a license, but because I've noticed all the piers say at the entrance, you, there's no fishing license needed at the yeah. piers. Or I think even a jetty. Yeah. The jetties, you could fish off the jetty. And what about like a stamp? Because like down there, where they sell a saltwater stamp on top of that. Well, no, a saltwater stamp to be able to catch saltwater. You know, you got a fishing license, but yeah. then you got to buy a saltwater stamp oh, yeah, to catch yeah, fish out that. of saltwater. They do have that. Yeah, they do have it. Yeah, saltwater enchantment or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> and uh, also, they have we have an all waters fish. You can have a regular fishing license, or you can have an all waters Everything. fishing license. Yeah. I think you have to pay for an extra. Yeah. So. Rod? No, uh, the only one, the only way you pay for the rods are on those piers that you go fish off of. They they charge you per rod, I believe. Yeah. Is how they charge it. It's how it's done now. It used to be per person, but I want to say they've changed it and it's gone per pole now. It's how they've done it. I could be wrong, but... I think couldn't... they do it here but, um, by rod still. Yeah. When you go buy the license. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you only have two or something somebody was telling yeah, something me? something like that. forgot what it was. Per license? Yeah. Two fishing rods per license? Yep. On you? I don't know what it is, but there's a, there's a limit. Yeah. People on the piers are the ones that have different rods like set up. Wow. Pretty Big cool. Point. Um Yeah. Like I said, I really appreciate the soft plastic and my name's Donald Thomas. What's your name? Ricardo. Ricardo, nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you, man, too. Um hopefully you get something on like them. Oh, uh, like I say, when I get back to Texas and I go out, I'm gonna try them, man. Yeah. I'll make a video on them. Nice. Yeah, they have um I'll try them out and see if they work. Yeah, they have different sizes all the way down to um, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. and then all the way up to like, 3 ounces. Three ounce. Yeah, for like the sports boat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so far they, the, they catch everything on them. They have, we have scent too. A little scent, we just squeeze it on through here. Yeah. I have some scent. Well, I have scent too. We have all kinds of scent. Yeah. We have garlic, we have uh, crab, we have shrimp, we have the magic sauce. We have a uh, Ballyhoo. Is it Procure? Or? Yeah, it's Procure. Yeah, I have that. Yeah. This is the one from Huckle, the one that we uh, shot. And that's the garlic. Yeah, well, this is different. This is, um, I forgot what it was. Crawfish. Crawfish, okay. Yeah, there's different, a lot of different scents. Yeah. But this cool. one, it's stinky. <laughs> yeah. It's back on wings. Good deal. Yeah. Well, it's nice talking to you. I want to walk down this pier before they close it. Yeah, Get some pictures of the, of the fishing uh, boats. Yeah, like and uh, and I, like I say, once again, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. Hopefully, and, uh, hopefully they work for you. Well, I'm going to try it. I'm telling you. I'm a man of my word. You'll see. Yeah. There'll be a video out there when, when, when I try it. I'll look up the video for sure. Yeah. I'll look up the channel. Okay. You have a good day. Thank Bye. you. Yeah, you too. You're welcome. So that was pretty interesting. Um, pretty interesting uh, setup that they have here. I'll have to try these out. I've never seen this type of uh, soft plastic where it's just like a tube and then they just they cut it at an angle and then they split the, the, the bottom. So they make two little tails on it. He says he can, that they catch a lot. That's what he tells me. So I'll definitely try these out. When I get back to the valley, take them out there and try them out in the grass flats. See if they catch anything. Alright, so I want to get some pictures here of these boats. Now, these are some old ones. Look at these old boats. They're still in use. Wow. Oh, this dock and all these crab traps. Alright guys, catch you on the next one.
somebody coming back from the 